Yo, yo guys, we are back for another one. Today we are going to get some data on the Verkline Arms. It is nice out. Hopefully the road I go to isn't busy. That's the only thing I want to go on the weekend because I know it's not busy and today is what, Tuesday? So we're gonna go see if this road's busy. If not, we'll go somewhere else. We're gonna get some launches. Slow, slow mo back to back. Definitely pre-arms, post-arms, and then we'll try and get some braking um, Look into the camera. We get to see out the car, if the car even those dives. It doesn't. It definitely feels reduced. I don't, I'm sure it still does a little bit. Kind of has to, but we'll see. We're gonna go head down. Hopefully, traffic isn't too bad, and uh, we'll get you guys some sweet video. This kind of sucks. It's literally 15 miles away, and it would take us 33 minutes to get there because traffic is so bad. Really unhappy with that. And it gets dark in like less than an hour. So after some exploring near the house since traffic everywhere is horrible this time of day i found a spot right around the corner so i'm pretty happy with that um it's like industrial ish and uh i don't think many cars come back here so i'm gonna have her hop out grab the phone we'll do a slow-mo and i think there's just enough room here to do a solid eighth mile pool and uh yeah so i'm gonna hand you both cameras do a slow-mo on the phone then I'm gonna turn around and do like a hard braking right in front of you. So I'll go down there, I'll take my time, then you can switch cameras and I'll, I'll, obviously yeah, I'll be on this side of the road coming back. So just record me coming in and just try and focus on the nose of the car. We wanna see how much it, it dips. Sound good? Sweet. What do you look at? We're sending the stuff to Draggy. I'm out of my Draggy up here. You too. Got the Draggy going. So I'm a back up here. It says low satellites, but and we can just send it. So I'm gonna bring up the recording on here, and she's gonna record me from the outside. And we're gonna try our best to get a nice dig once uh, once this guy goes away. I don't know what's going on here. We'll get her done. All right, looks like we got plenty of room for eighth mile real quick. Oh! 30. Man, I got some draggy runs, but they're not great. I really think, because I was doing launches before I did the draggy runs, that was already heat soaked. You guys know stock intercoolers and how all that works, but so it didn't really help me on my 60 foot or anything. I need the car to be nice and cold and then go out and do it, I think. So we'll reattack that at some point, but you guys got that draggy video, so there's that. I'm just parked up against the building now. Let me turn this down a little bit. Uh. I just tried my best to make a little montage. Uh, if you watch Jimmy Oaks, Jimmy Oaks always does those sweet little montages. So that's my attempt at one, I suppose, if I even put it in there. But man, I'm so happy with this car. Don't focus on me, focus on that. Yeah, mm. booty. I really love these taillights. Like, really, really love. And what I'm seeing is I didn't even know that the S3s were gonna get like the real matrix, head matrix headlights in the United States. So. Like some of them, it's not like this in the corner. It's like uh, a three by three thing. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Maybe I can pull up a picture here to show you guys. Like I think O34's car has the, the headlights that I really want. But uh, 
maybe i mean and they both have like the orange marker in them so what i'm thinking is maybe get some they call them ecos like the european uh headlights i think they're like three thousand something dollars it's ridiculous i had uh, i was talking with paul at shop dap and i was asking if they had um blind spot mirrors for the mark 8 yet and they do and i was like oh and he's like you want me to see if you have them for the if we have them for the s3 and i was like yeah well these are auto dimming i didn't even realize it so if i can get a good focus no uh, you can't really see but like uh you kind of can like the first i don't know like quarter inch around the whole mirror you can kind of see that it's like different well these mirrors literally auto dim the same with the rear view mirror so anytime like there's light coming at it they dim for you but really one is the blind spot portion where it's like the last bit of the lens here is like uh spherical so you can really see like your blind spots i mean the car has like you know the lane monitoring and all that so i don't really need it and i don't want to have to trust the light or break my neck trying to see it's just really nice to have them there but the the blind spot ones that auto dim are 400 freaking dollars 200 aside ridiculous i mean really you only need one but still like that is ridiculous 400 dollars for some freaking mirrors that could be put to so many more places when i hit the lottery maybe i'll i'll grab a pair i don't know I really wish I could get a better 8th mile for you guys, which reminds me, I need to go back and email Do88, because they said there's, their intercooler should be out by the end of the year, so um, maybe we can get our hands on one in not too long. We're 33 weeks pregnant today, so we're looking anytime between right after New Year's and the due date, February 2nd, which is also her birthday. So anytime between here and there, this baby could pop out, so not looking like I have much time to do anything and uh videos will definitely come to an end for a while when she's here i'm uh, really hoping to get this rear end in the car before then but i've been booking my weekends with side work working on other people's cars for cash so i can buy more baby stuff and have a little bit of money saved up because i'm not going to get paid while i take leave for this baby come anyway i'm done rambling i'm gonna go edit this video hopefully it was decent might have to throw some filler in the end again with my dogs <laughs> hope you guys don't mind uh, it was a fun day. I'm glad I found this little little road. I think tomorrow I'll probably come back out right after work and uh, maybe do a couple more runs. The road is barely long enough to do an eighth mile. I need to find one kind of longer, honestly, but it's quiet over here. Only had one car come by in the last 30 minutes or so. so. Can't argue with that. Anyway, done rambling. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you on the flip flop. So I don't know how well you guys can tell. I don't know if you're watching this on the phone screen or on the big screen or what. I'm watching this using my mouse and comparing. There's quite, I mean, the car obviously still has to, you know, squat some, but there is significantly less. This is really dope. I'm glad to see that. And then in the clip where we're breaking, there was like barely anything there either. So I am, I am very, very happy with these arms i can't wait to get all the rest of the stuff in the back end because you can kind of see like the tire if you look close enough the tire like moves back and forth on launch as well like um like some real good bushings and you know celerity back there would help the tire like shaking almost so um, there's definitely room for improvement but on a stock car this is great this is really nice to see I'm sorry about the draggy video. I know I already heat soaked the shit out of the car before I did the draggy. I was just doing it for fun, really, anyway. But I need to go out with um, with a cool car when the car is like, nice and cool. Come off the highway and do it right away when there's no heat soak. I literally just sent a D an email to Do88 to see what they have to say. And Racing Line just dropped an inlet and arm, or not arm, uh, inlet for the turbo and then uh, a pipe off of that to the intake. So as uh, soon as Sean over it, it's not stock gets that uh i'll be ordering it so yeah pretty pretty uh pretty happy with this the car is going to be awesome there's not even a tune on it yet like 
I'm pretty stoked. Anyway, now for the real ending. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip flop.